but guys on average you know uh every year that i've been in business you know the go the the business uh has grown by a third so you know it's uh you can't deny the numbers uh even though some of the uh some of the years has been a lot better you know uh on expenses than others and that's where uh i think that i've gotten a lot better at because there are a lot of costs in running a business like i run uh there's a lot of overhead uh to me more so in the very beginning uh now you don't have to have the kind of equipment i have to start a lawn care business uh you know but i've always been a firm believer in you pay for what you get so uh but well i have come to believe uh in the last you know well 10 years that you that you pay for what you get that you know uh the equipment that i buy now costs a lot more money than the equipment that i had in the in the very beginning and that's okay uh you know because well i couldn't justify spending you know thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars on a lawnmower uh you know back in the day uh like i can now but with that being said i also know that when you do spend that kind of money on a lawnmower that it's a quality machine and they last for years so uh though there's a lot more expense buying a machine like that in the long term and you always got to look at what you want your business to be right you know i mean are you just doing this you know for the time being going to school you know gonna be something else are you just doing this part-time to make a little extra money for christmas money and stuff like that uh or are you doing this as your livelihood it's gonna be your livelihood for the foreseeable future and if that's the case well you i think that you're gonna have to eventually buy better equipment and better equipment because the uh the expense long term is much cheaper for instance this season knock on wood anything can happen to a mechanical machine this season i i will not have to buy a lawnmower okay so you know that is gonna save me money now if four seasons ago i i went out and and bought a cheap mower then i would have to be buying a cheap mower every year i did it for a few years until i until i realized that i need to go on and and throw some money down you know uh and get a machine that's worthy of what i'm trying to do because my business is my livelihood i mean this is i don't have a check coming on friday this is it so when you think about it in terms like that uh you'll eventually you know maybe not everybody but you'll eventually want to get to uh higher quality equipment than w what you started out with unless you started out with high quality equipment and most people you know at least for me most people you know don't start out uh with the kind of lawn mowers and stuff that i have and i didn't either i had to identify what my target customer is you know and it takes a few years to do that and before you go to spending you know the kind of money that i spend on lawn mowers the upfront the upfront costs are high but you get it all back in the in the in the in the long term you know uh 
I'm not one of these guys that trades mowers in at 500 hours. I don't do that. You know, I'm, I'm not one of these guys that, that, that always wants a mower payment. I don't. I'm the guy that wants to buy a lawnmower and use it and use it and grow the business with it and then buy another lawnmower, you know, build my money up uh, with with the lawnmower, the first lawnmower, and then, you know, build my money up and build my knowledge up more than anything about what kind of mower I need to buy moving forward and then act on that. And, you know, uh, if you don't know what kind of mower you need to buy, then nobody does. You have to be kind of, you know, seeing what your business is doing. You so, so sometimes the guys that are running the business, the guys whose business it is, they're so close to the business that they get all caught up, and me too, get all caught up in the day-to-day -day running of the business and uh, and all that. But at some point, you know, I knew that I was going to have to buy big boy lawnmowers to be able to do the kind of jobs that I wanted to do in the time frame that I want to do them in. You know, trading in a mower every uh, every 500 hours, well, I don't want to have that that much interaction with my dealer. I want to go to the dealer and buy a mower and not have to see the dealer for a few years. You know, because if I did if I did that, then I would have to be fooling with buying another mower every year, and that means I got to sell mine the one that I got. You know, because I put 500 hours on a mower in a year. <laughs> I, I I do. You know, I do uh, at least. You know, and and I got you know three mowers or four mowers running. So you know. Uh, I saw one guy on there talking about he likes to trade them in so he can keep a newer mower all the time. See, I just I, I, I just don't really believe in that, you know. Uh, I really don't. I, I like for my mowers to last me as long as they can because, you know, uh, The mowers that I buy are top quality. So, you know, I got one of my mowers has over 2,000 hours on it and I don't have a lick of problems out of it, not none. Now, if the mower started giving me major problems where I couldn't, it wasn't dependable anymore, then, well, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll buy another mower, you know. You know, I'll sell the mower that I got. Then, yeah, I'm not going to get, uh, you know, top dollar for it but you know I don't have to because I done made top dollar with it and I got money stacked up to replace that mower you know uh, one of the guys was talking about you know if the mower has more than 500 hours on it that the value of the mower you know goes down to you know a thousand dollars or whatever well I anybody that's got a commercial mower that's got uh, less than a thousand hours on it uh, that wants to sell sell it for a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars y'all y'all email me man I'll buy I'll buy it if it's a right mower or a, a you know a, a, a XMAR a Skag you know because to me you know, if you got a 37 horsepower mower at 500 hours, it's just now getting broke in good to me. You know, I might be wrong, but that's just how I, you know, this is how everybody, and everybody runs that business a little bit different, you know. Uh, I would never trade my mower in every year or every, you know, 500 hours or whatever. I just wouldn't do it, man. Doesn't make sense to me, you know, because you're keeping yourself. You keeping yourself out there? If you can get another, squeeze another year out of that mower, then you can make, you know, another forty thousand dollars with that single mower. Well, that doesn't make no sense to trade it in when you can make forty grand with it, and uh, and and 
and put 10 grand of it up somewhere and then the next season go out and buy, go, go and buy you another mower and still have that one going too. It's hard to grow when you're selling your equipment because you're never going to get get what get back what what the equipment's really worth. Never, you know. At least not what it's worth to a guy like me, where where uh, I'm in this business and I know I'm going to be in this business. Uh, I, I mean, I can always use another mower, you know. Always, you know, especially if it's a top quality mower. All right, y'all. Uh, I got to go in here and get this stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's about all I got for today, y'all. And it's Ray. I'll kick back with y'all, man. Y'all have a good evening. All right, guys. So, uh, it's, it's still wet and ugly today. Uh, this is a continuation of the video that I started yesterday. So, y'all know they put a new pool in, right? And... Y'all can see that I got some drainage problems here. Uh, so I got Bo up on the hill up here. I'm gonna get him to start. Uh, uh, we're gonna clean off this deck right here. We're gonna see if we can move this deck uh, over here. Uh, you see how all the water's sitting? I mean, it's bad, man. Uh, I need to, there's a lot I need to do here. Probably go down here and just, I don't really know how to get the water out. Uh, there's just got to be a better way, man. Uh, the water's not moving any more than what it is, so I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to get that out. Eventually going to come in here and build this up some to where I can go lower outside the fence. So... And y'all can see where I got a, where I got the, I dug this trench uh, last week. Uh, you know, I want to go on and get seed and straw on all this, but you can't really do that. It's going to be a mess, man. Uh, me just moving the skid steer around on this is going to make it a mess. So, uh, yeah. to wipe it on something you got. No, I thought something was in my ear, a raindrop or something. Alright. Alright y'all, so we're going down here to get this, uh, we're going to get a, a big bag of seed and straw. I don't know if we're going to build even straw that today. Uh, because the number one thing I got to do is I got to get that drainage right, man. At least better than it is now. Right now it ain't worth a damn. And we put yeah, see, this down. is when Bo gets really down and out because he ain't made no money in three days and it's, and it's raining every day. And so he's just trying to make a few dollars. So I'm trying to uh, do a little, a, little, a little stuff around the house, you know. Uh, uh, we might work an hour and a half, two hours, you know. Uh, throw, him a, throw him a few dollars. I really don't even want to do anything, man. I, I got a lot of stuff I can do on the inside, man. I don't even need to be out here in this crap. But I'll get some stuff done around the house and get him, you know, 30 bucks or so. And, and, and he needs to be grateful that he got that. So with that being said, uh, you know, uh, I need to get some stuff done around the house too. You know, so he'll get a few dollars, enough to eat. And 
the mission's open today, so uh, he'll be able to he'll be able to uh, get a whole bag of food and whatever he can work out of those church folks over there today. So, yeah. Anyway, I gotta get gas, y'all. Peace out. Tell you what, though, Bo got his issues, but that damn bow can spread some straw. I mean, it looks really good. So, uh, just temporary stuff just to try to help us with the mud and all. We got the grading about like I can, only the, all I can do with it today. Anyway, y'all know what it is. Yeah, I really, uh, I really put it over here in front. Don't worry about it over here because I got to grade all this. Put it over here in the front. You didn't put no seed over here, dude. So, I mean, why would you put straw where you have not put seed? You stopped at that line right there. Now, look, I put seed over here, so just give me some, give me some straw in here, you know. Right on top of this grass because I just kind of, I just threw some seed in here to. Looking good, man. Everything's looking good, man. Hey, y'all. Hey, all, that's all, that's all that's happening today. Ain't nothing really happening today. It's just so wet, man. We ain't, we ain't trying to really do anything. Uh, this is bad shoes. What are the Nike shoes you have? Gone? No, the ones I just had? The black Nikes? Get your foot off the um, off the seat. The black. black Nikes that you got that were so nice. Gone. Oh, a long time ago? No, long, long time ago, two weeks ago. <laughs> you know which ones I'm talking about. The Air Jordan shoes, the ones that had the nice straps oh, and all. They're over there. Oh. They're in town. That's right. I forgot them. That's right. Those are good shoes. They're gonna be good to work in. That's gonna be my main squeeze, hopefully. Well. Good job on the straw, man. It looks good, man. Thanks. You're I'm still gonna have to damn. I mean, it's almost like a waste of money, man, because I'm still gonna have to tear that yard up, man. To, but it'll it'll help us with the mud for a few for a few weeks. Let my pocket build back up some. I ain't been making no money. The only money I've been getting is stimulus money. Hmm. Something that Bo needs to get. So you need to be getting dropped off at Crooks going into McIntyre. That's what you need to be doing. Yeah, y'all, so that's all we got going on today. I ain't trying to do nothing else. I got to take my mama somewhere this afternoon. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat, go sit on the couch for a couple hours, and wait on moms to call me. That's my... That's my afternoon gig, y'all. Peace out. Yeah, he's struggling, man, right now. You know, but well, what's new? Don't matter. He's, he's struggling no matter what. He could have made $500 yesterday and he'd still be struggling. You see, I don't understand why he wanted to go there and not like, you know, to uh, the corner down there where he can get some lunch and stuff. See, here he's going to have to walk a mile to get lunch, to get something to eat. He'd just be doing off the, off the wall hair brain stuff. But he worked good today, so, you know, I'm glad he gets some of that, some of that, uh, hopefully get that stuff cleaned up, man. All right, y'all. I kick back with y'all, man. I gotta find me something. Today. I'm probably gonna go home and eat me a peanut butter and jelly sammy. It's Ray. I kick back.